I didn't have the luxury of, you know, having to go through um, different, you know, options mm. because I mean she was just the only option I had. Mm. Um, she met all the criteria I wanted in a woman, and as soon as I saw her, I just knew she was the one. And then that that just confirms my decision. Wow. So she's she's obviously a very upfront woman. She's she knows what she wants. She goes for it. She's very positive, and that that for me is is a big catch. Mm. Yeah. It was quite a catch, and you didn't wait. You just catch. I just went ahead. And thank God, up. and thank God. So, but, you know the, the all the process. What was it like? Was it like it was looking difficult initially? You know how you can get through to her. You can be busy sometimes. You ask a call back and all of that. You know. Having to wait hours before you talk to her. Uh, you almost give you the man coat. Well, that's, that's... <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I think Mr. Shea is already to give you men's coat, men's nuggets. He, he doesn't want you to get that. Uh... Oh, well, yes. I mean, it wasn't, um, she's a very busy woman. It, was, it wasn't that easy accessing her, obviously. But, I mean, um, once a man is determined, mm. you just go for it. Yeah. And that's what I did. Yeah. And um, all I needed was just that first phone call, and that's it. The rest is history. Mm. Yeah. Wow. The rest is history. The history is very long. Yeah. My no one too. You can, you understand, you can listen to the history. You can watch the history from Auntie Bella's um, interview. She told us in detail, you know, men, they don't like too much stories. <laughs> it's headline. Baba is giving you headline. But you hear the main gist from Auntie Viola's interview. So do yourself a favor. Click on the next one and watch our interview. Okay. So